It's Frosty for Awesome Time! Hundreds of people during December on YouTube create videos advocating for their favorite charities and thousands of people participate on the 48 hour live stream that has dozens of hosts. As a community, we discuss and promote charity videos, we raise awareness and money through the Indiegogo campaign, and we vote on that money's distribution to decrease the overall level of world suck. The P4A home base is at projectforawesome.com. This year, my charity choice is Growing Leaders, a registered 501c3 in Georgia, founded in 2003 by president and founder Dr. Tim Elmore. Its mission is to turn young adults into growing leaders who will transform society. It partners with schools, colleges, athletic departments, and organizations to develop today's emerging generation of leaders. They equip people to understand and connect with this generation, and they offer resources to spark conversations and life-changing experiences with them. It believes our hope for the future is not how well we prepare youth. At its core, it believes leadership is about solving problems and serving people. Young leaders are not raised up in crowds, but in life-on-life -life mentors relationships. They have trained emerging leaders in 66 countries around the world with about 8,000 partnerships, of schools, and organizations. I learned of Growing Leaders in 2009, but most interestingly, their Habitudes book series nurtured a very deep seed in the process of my personal growth and leadership development. As a New York Family Career and Community Leaders of America state officer in 2009, we accepted an invitation from a partner of Growing Leaders called National FFA. They're a career and technical student organization like FFA. CCLA, to attend a week-long leadership training camp called Blast Off Training, Building Leaders and Strong Teen Officers at Camp Oswagachi in the Adirondack Mountains with my first council. We completed indoor and outdoor team building activities and challenges together that focused on personal leadership and group leadership. This experience instilled in me the importance of living by my own set of core values and serving with integrity. I still have the small notebook that I used the first day of the workshop and the mission statement that I wrote. It's right here, and that was about 10 years ago. At the conclusion of that, leadership training camp, I got handed a book series by Dr. Tim Elmore called Habitudes, Images That Teach Leadership Habits and Attitudes. I ate that book up. Later on, I read the new books. I've shared them with people, with future New York FCCLA councils, and the ideas and insight in them propelled me like a heat-seeking missile of self-improvement to soon commit to so many endeavors to be a committed follower and leader to things around me. And I continued to read and journal my experiences through newer personal growth books. It helped me connect and make friends, find mentors, build communities, and really form a personal foundation for my definition of success and how to live a meaningful and valuable life of service. It has even got me creating my own library of leadership images that are connected to stories and lessons that I discover or that I learn through my own experiences. The world youth are going into has never been more complex and nearly half of the world's population is 21 years old and younger. Those three to four billion people need to be developed well with intention. Millennials born between 1984 and 2002 and Generation Z, the Homelanders, will end up being leaders whether or not they're ready to be. As a millennial myself, I think we should be prepared and raise well to lead the way into the future. It isn't enough to add more followers, but do everything for them. We should develop leaders to address crises and provide solutions. The scope is very overwhelming, but little successes don't feel little when they are yours. And growing leaders' small investment in me 10 years ago doesn't feel little to me. All little successes like mine in aggregate become the large one. If you're even the slightest interested in growing leaders and growing the possibility of learning about them, working with them, donating to them, or utilizing their resources to invest in youth that are close to you, please check out growingleaders.com. And that's it. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to vote at projectforawesome.com, donate, participate, and enjoy the 2018 Project for Awesome. Happy P4A and DFTVA.